Hello there ladies and gentlemen, how are you all doing? Today in this video, I will be showing you five easy steps that you can take to download and install your favorite mods into Minecraft. Step number one is to download and install the CurseForge client. If you don't know how to download the CurseForge client, I'll have a video in the description below where I go over how to get this app for yourself if you need any further help. When you have the CurseForge client installed, we are ready for step number two. In my mod packs tab, you go right over here to the right hand side and you click create custom profile. You want to give your profile a name and you want to select the Minecraft version. I have two versions that I highly recommend that you get for yourself before you start downloading and installing your mods. Currently, most major Minecraft mods are optimized for this version of Minecraft, but 1.16.4 is of course the latest version of Minecraft as well, so just bear that information in mind. Also be sure that you select the latest version of Mod Loader. By default, it will not be the most up-to-date version, so just go ahead and select the latest one. So I've created one client for 1.16.4 and one client for 1.12.2, and I'm going to show you how you can now browse for your own mods. We are now ready for step number three. Click on your profile. On the right hand side, you wanna search for add more content down over here. Now you'll be given a list of all the mods that are currently available on CurseForge. What you can do is you can start searching and looking for your favorite mods. You can filter by categories as well. For example, if you like technology, you can search for technology specific mods, or maybe you like exploration. So you can search specifically for dimension mods. When you found a mod that you like, you can click on the install button on the right, and that will automatically install the mod into the client that you have selected. As mentioned, sometimes mods are not going to be updated for 1.0. 16. So if you want to have access to as many mods as possible, try out the 1.12.2 mods instead. Let me show you. Here I'm clicking on 1.12.2, going to add more content, and if I now search up the Aether mod again, you'll notice that I can actually find the Aether mod and install it straight away. One thing to bear in mind is that sometimes certain mods require other mods to be installed first, so be sure to check the overview of certain large mods if you plan on installing them. Oftentimes, if you have slow internet, you will have troubles with downloading the mod packs for yourself using the CurseForge client. Fortunately, there's another way that we can download them. If you click on the mod that you would like to use, go to the three dots over here and click View Mod Website. This will bring up the CurseForge page on your browser where you can then download the mod itself. Go to Files and make sure that you are downloading the correct game version. Click on the Download button and this will now download automatically from your browser instead. From here, you need to navigate to your Twitch folder. For me, it's in Documents, Twitch, Minecraft, Instances, and then here you can see all of the profiles that you've created in your CurseForge client. Select the right profile, go to Mods, and then take the mod from your downloads and drag it into the folder. Simple. Step four. When you've added all the mods that you'd like to use, you can click on the X right over here at the top and you can now play your game. Let's start the game up. Now, while you're waiting, you might notice it sometimes takes a little bit more time for the game to load. This is because it's just got a lot more mods to take care of, so give it a little bit of time. Now, if you downloaded a mod that is not compatible, don't worry too much. It just means that the mod itself won't load into the game, but you'll still be able to start playing the game as you normally would. And you'll notice that the reason I can't use these mods is because I actually missed out on a mod library called the Fabric Mod. This would probably be a good time for me to actually mention that there are two main mod loader APIs, the Forge Mod Loader API and the Fabric Loader. Any mod that is made for the Forge API is not compatible with the Fabric Loader and vice versa. However, sometimes mod authors will release Fabric versions and Forge versions of their own mods. So just keep a lookout when you're downloading these mods and bear that in mind as well when you're installing them. Step number five. Adjust your settings to your liking and create your new world. One last note, I will say that Minecraft with mods can be more resource intensive. If you have a slower PC, I highly recommend you download Optifine. But if you have a higher end PC, why not download shaders and make your Minecraft experience even more better? By the way, I have a video that shows how you can install Optifine and also shaders. Links are in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful day.